before this video begins, I want to thank you guys so much for 40,000 subscribers. Also, I've been trying out some new content recently. If you guys like this type of content, please leave a like down below. Can we hit 100 likes on this video for more content like this? The Los Angeles Lakers just selected an absolute beast in Costa Santacumpo. Costas, the brother of Giannis Antetokounmpo, is a 6 foot 9 small forward with a 7 foot 2 wingspan and a 40 inch vertical. Compare that to the reigning MVP Giannis, who is also 6 foot 10 inches with a 7 3 wingspan and a 40 inch vertical, and Costa already seems to be the same physical build as Giannis. Not only this, but Costa also shares Giannis' insane athleticism and is most similar to Giannis out of all the Antetokounmpo brothers. Costas also comes from a great athletic family, other than Giannis. His father was a successful soccer player and his mother was a high jumper. His oldest brother, Francis, plays professional soccer in Greece, and his second oldest brother has won two all-star MVPs in Greece and has led his team to the championship. It seems as if Costas is destined for success. It should be noted that Costas is not yet close to the level of Giannis Antetokounmpo and is still an extremely raw player with some holes in his game and a lot of room for improvement. However, Costas is only 21 years old and has shown flashes of being an NBA star in the G League. In the G League, Costas averaged 10.6 points, 6.2 rebounds, and 0.8 assists with 1 steal and 1.3 blocks per game. He did this on 52.2, 24.4, and 68.5% shooting splits. Although these stats don't particularly stand out, it is important to note that Giannis also didn't start off his career as such a great player. In the beginning of Giannis' NBA career, he too didn't put up insane numbers. In his first two seasons, his biggest accomplishments were participating in the dunk contest and dropping 27 points to the Rockets. Averaging only 12.7 points and 6.7 rebounds, Giannis was also a raw talent that needed to be developed in order to become the great player that he is today. And the similarities between Giannis and Costas' games are already evident. Both Giannis and Costas excel at running in space and going coast to coast. Look at the following plays. You can see the similarities in both Giannis and Costas' athleticism and speed down the court, with their long strides making it extremely easy for them to run the length of the court in a matter of seconds. This raw athleticism that Costas is displaying was all Giannis had at the beginning of his career. Not only this, but both excel in the pick and roll game, with Costas being an extremely confident and strong roller who can easily attack the basket in a very Clint Capella-like fashion, with his speed at the rolling position and his ability to finish lobs coming his way. There's Macon. Drop off to Costas. Who's had a quiet night. Foul trouble had a lot to do with that. Has it here. He's going to shoot the three. Raindrop. The similarities between Giannis, Costas, and Clint Capella's pick and roll game is remarkably similar. Clint Capella and Giannis have already shown that this move is an elite move in the NBA, with them scoring in bunches with a simple pick and roll. Another similarity between Costas and Giannis is their impact on the defensive end using their long wingspan to get in the way of shots and passes. In college, Costas was a huge presence at the rim as he's quick off the ground and has great timing as a help side shot blocker. Costa's great athleticism, coupled with his shot blocking ability, makes him a huge benefit in guarding the pick and roll, especially in switch heavy defenses, as he can always easily recover. There's Rodriguez all the way around inside. I think that was blocked by Costa, right into the Clippers bench. So we take a look at it. Rodriguez gets by Hornsby, but good help defense. Earlier this season, he would not have been able to do what he just did there. That's a really masterful play. However, Costa still needs to improve his shooting and turnover rates, both of which can easily be fixed. 
NBA scout to the draft combine stated that Costa's shot is not a lost case, and with a few pointers, he can become an elite three-point shooter in the NBA. Another weakness in Costa's game is his high turnover rate, which is leading to have less minutes because of his problematic mistakes down the stretch of a game. If he ever wants to become the point forward that Giannis is, he definitely needs to improve on his turnovers and become a more efficient passer and ball handler in the future. Meaning that, with some improvement, Costas can become Giannis with a 3-point shot, making him an extremely dangerous player. A lot of responsibility of Costas' growth falls not only on Costa, but on the coaching staff and the Lakers as a whole in aiding his development. Costas is extremely lucky in this regard as well, as the Lakers have Jason Kidd, the man Giannis attributes his growth to. As Giannis said, Jason Kidd helped him into growing into the dominant player that he is today, saying that he was a thin, inexperienced teenager and has become one of the NBA's most dominant players under the tutelage of coach Jason Kidd. Seeing as Costas has the same athleticism and overall skills as Giannis, plus the same coach that developed Giannis into the player that he is today, it seems a surefire thing that Costas will develop into the great player that Giannis is today. Costas also is completely surrounded with great athletes from whom he can gain knowledge from. Costas is one phone call away from getting advice from players such as Giannis, LeBron, and AD. Costas has all the resources that Giannis had and even more. Not only is Costas' potential a great benefit to the Lakers, but he's also a great player to pick up as a pre-agency play for Giannis' 2021 free agency. Giannis is extremely close to his family and his ex-coach Jason Kidd, meaning that the Lakers are a great destination for Giannis if he ever does choose to leave the Bucks. If the Lakers do end up signing Giannis, in two years' time, the Lakers may have a starting lineup of LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and two Greek freaks.